This is a picture showing an after-surgery wound on one Francis Njoroge, a patient who went to India for surgery a few days ago and landed back home following an order to close any international flights from Wednesday. His wound, still fresh, needs constant change of dressing and later have the stitches removed. But here, on mandatory quarantine, this will not happen. <laughs> Francis and a hundred others were bundled into an NYS bus and taken to government approved quarantine locations. For him, he landed at a hotel in Westlands where he was required to pay 9,000 shillings per day for the 14 days that he will be in isolation. <laughs> Some of the travelers say that despite complying with all regulations for quarantine, government officials have not been back to check on their progress. Hakuna mtu yote amekuja kutuangalia kutoka siku tulifika. Tumekuwa tukiuliza even the management anatambia bado anakuja lakini hakuna mmoja wetu mmoja wao amefika. Shida ambayo tulikuwa nayo pale kuingizwa kwenye mabasi, tulikuwa tunalazimishwa kukaa watu tume tumebanana. Yale mabasi yalikuwa yanabeba watu watakupita kiasi na mizigo pale ndani hapo kulikuwa na shida. Kaingizwa pale ndani na kupelekwa moja kwa moja katika hospitali katika hoteli ya Pride Inn eh, hapa Westlands. Sasa so, tumekuwa hapa kuanzia hiyo usiku wa Jumatatu jana Jumanne mpaka sasa bado tupo lakini hakuna proper communication kwa sababu jana maafisa wa afya walikuja wakazungumza na sisi wakatuambia kwamba tunafaa kuendelea kukaa hapa mpaka siku ngapi 14 zikisha ndio tuweze kukaguliwa for those who landed in high school dormitories and college hostels, the situation is even worse. They claim some of them in the hostels and dormitories are unwell, some women are pregnant and are in need of constant medical attention, but none is forthcoming. So per room, you're like two people. We are supposed to be paying 2000 per head per night for 14 nights. They are appealing for the officials tasked with the mandate to oversee the quarantine persons to attend to their plight before the situation turns into a humanitarian crisis. Dennis Matarake, 24, Evening Edition.